people have been asking me, uh, requesting uh, on my YouTube stuff to do a 4K uh, upscale with the raw 5D Mark II Magic Lantern um, files. Uh, earlier on, uh, I just started one here um, the other day, and I'm gonna be I'll be editing the uh, tiffs in natively in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I shot this in uh, 2K. I'll just bring up the source file, and as you can see, I originally shot this um, at 2K. Actually, that should be. 20, uh, uh, that should be 2048 by 10, uh, 1024. But it, anyways, um, so this is uh, DNG, similar DNG, and I shot this at 2K. Um, so I'm going to take this 2K file, DNG, uh, digital negative, and I will make it into a 4K file. 4096 by 2048 um, and it'll be a TIFF. <clears throat> My goal is to make a 4K file that's almost indistinguishable from a real 4K file. That's just the power of the RAW. So anyways, this is what you uh, need to do. Is uh, I use Photoshop CC. Uh, it seems to be the easiest workflow and uh, what you need to do is image process now make sure you select open the first image to apply settings um, TIFF but then you select your folder um, and uh, apply your uh, uh, whoops in, uh, include your ICC profile Okay, so then there should be, uh, this is a short one. It's only 350 uh, uh, frames. Uh, okay, so then we just run it. There we are. So there we go. Uh, 2048 by 1024. And let's click on that uh, and basically resize. All right, so, um, and that's all I do. I'm sure it still says 16-bit, that you could be in, so that's all I do. Camera profile in Canon, and I think I shot this with my yes, with my 24 to 70. Uh, da, da, this one right here, and move beneath that. And that's about it. I don't, that's about it. Um, shadows so the more the green so I get some like nice beautiful green okay well that looks good to me um, yeah so once I hit open the image then it'll go start going through the conversion and uh, it'll start generating our uh, 4k tiffs and then there you go very simple. Now this is what I generated. Now remember this is what I started with. 2k file. And this is what we got. 4k file. TIFF. There we go. Let's put them side by side here.
All right, so we'll open up Final Cut Pro 10 and then we'll uh, show you the import process. All right, so we're back in Final Cut Pro 10 X and um, this is one of the pro this is what I brought in uh, previous um, and I'll just show you the import process for uh, for this just import and there we go there's our uh, 4k um, GIFs they're, of course, they're 50 megabyte per frame, so yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's they're quite chunky. So we'll just there again. We'll just take that, uh, highlight that file, import, and we're just going to add it to our existing event, and uh, nothing really else. We just leave everything else alone, and just import. Should be the ones that we just brought in. Yes, and now as it's importing, um, it locks the original, and that's what that's all about. Um, so here we go. Basically, just put them on the timeline. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Now. And there they are now. Now they're in at 10 seconds, as you can see. So we need to highlight the first frame and the last frame, as you know, 150 frames here. Highlight that and go back to the beginning here. Change duration to one. That's one frame per frame. Hit enter. There it is. Now, the next step, and it's still highlighted, there again, we want to make a new compound clip, and okay, and there it goes. All right, we got all our files in there now. Um, just to show you that it's okay project doo, doo, doo. now this is the compound clip that we just made um there you go 4096 by 2048 23 frames 98 on a 4k project so the previous one um i did here i applied um i'll just bring up the uh, i use film convert pro and I find that these Cinema DNGs uh, for Magic Lantern, they really like to respond to the Red One camera source. Um, I'm using uh, <clears throat> Fuji um, 8543 uh, film stock, um, film color. I, I just started to play with it. So, and uh, also I just added a, a balance, uh, a white balance from Final Cut Pro. That's really all I've done. I'll just turn this off and you can see what it looks like uh, natively. Um, I mean, you can grade from there, and this is the other one here, too. Um, that's a Cinema DNG one, and this is just the DNG. Uh, so I just throw my, that's my, with my white balance, and of course, that's with the uh, Film Convert Pro. I really like that. Uh, it does have different 
other camera stocks, um, all the Canon ones, but I like the red one and the 8543. I like that stock uh, emulation. Um, I'll throw a little bit of green in there. And uh, yeah, there you go. And just, <clears throat> and just to get the uh, effects over in Final Cut Pro, um, just open up your window. Um, Control V, I do believe. I'm using a Microsoft keyboard, so it, I use Control uh, V. And then just highlight that. And I won't use any shortcuts, I'll just go this way and to copy. And highlight your other one. Oops, and then paste effects attributes. And here we can um, select which ones we want to go from our previous file to this one to match it. Um, but I'll just click it all because I want to uh, maintain the same. And this apply. But you can switch which ones you want. And there you go. Uh, I have to do some work on it. So it's the wrong way. There we go. We're getting closer. Anyways, you get the idea. So uh, this is a project I'm working on, and as soon as it's done, I will post it um, after this tutorial. So I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, you can work with it. Final Cut Pro 4K files. It's a little tough, but it, it is possible. All right. Sign off for now. Um, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial um, and uh, happy shooting.